could have got strike two with. That's strike three, and the ball goes over in the dugout, and now they're going to ask whether it was a foul tip, and Barney goes to first. There's no sign yet. Now the umpires are going to have a conference as to whether or if it was a foul tip. Gabe Morales never indicated that it was a foul ball. Now he's calling on the other three umpires to see if anybody had a foul tip, and this could be a real beef here. Yeah. The catcher didn't move. The batter didn't move. The pitcher didn't move. I don't know how Barney could have made contact with that pitch. It was in the dirt. So far out in front of home. Watch this swing here. Another breaking ball, curve ball. He did foul to foul it. From that one angle that we just saw, it looked like a foul ball. Now Gibbons has been thrown out by Ted Barrett, the third base umpire. And I could feel it was going to be a beef mm -hmm. one side or the other. His argument might be there was no there was no sign that it was a foul ball. So now why are you calling it a foul ball? Just because the other manager came out and asked for it. And Barrett is the crew chief for this umpiring crew. Robin Ventura came out and argued that it was a foul tip. Nobody went after it. Barney didn't run initially until he saw the ball way over by the thing. Yeah, David Robertson, the pitcher, sprinted off the mound, thinking that nobody touched the watcher. No sign, nothing. Now here comes Robertson because he hasn't heard anything. Like, Usually, a, a umpire will say foul tip or not. He doesn't say anything. But that replay shows that it clearly was tipped by Barney. 